Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics and happy to see you here. Really interesting exponential equation today, 3 to the x plus 4 to the x plus 5 to the x equal to 6 to the power x. Okay, how can we solve this interesting problem? There are a lot of approaches, how can we do this, but I want to show you my really interesting tricky method right here, tricky approach. So first of all, let's divide all sides, so left and right side by 6 to the power x. Okay, if we divide it, we will have like 3 to the x, over 6 to the x plus 4 to the x over 6 to the x and plus 5 to the x all over 6 to the x equal to 6 to the power x over 6 to the power x. Okay, we just divide in both sides by 6 to the power x. Okay, what we're we going to do next, take a look closely. Right here we cancel this, so right here we have 1. And if you know a really good rule, if we have the situation like a to the power x over b to the power x, so different bases but same power, we can write it as one power, so a one base, so a over b, all raised to the power x. So we can apply this rule in every of these case. So 3 over 6 to the power x plus 4 over 6 to the power x plus 5 over 6 to the power x equal to equal to 1. Yeah? So we have this, we have this situation. Okay, what we're going to do next, we can easily simplify this a little bit. So we can write this function as right here, 3, 6, it will be 1 half to the power x plus 2 third to the power x plus, right here we cannot cancel this, so 5 over 6 to the power x equal to equal to 1. Yeah, so we have this situation. This is all, after all these simplifying steps right here. Okay, what we're going to do next? Take a look closely. Let's, this function will be our function pi of x. So for example, this is pi of x and this on the right hand side, this is q of x, yeah? So two functions, this on the left and this on the right. And let's get some information about this function. So about this function on the left hand side and about this function on the, on the right hand side, okay? So we can, we can find this information. But how can you find information with this left hand side function? We know a really good derivative method. So if you find a derivative of this left hand side, like pi right here, so if you find derivative of this left function, then we can easily find derivative of right function and we can discover about this function. So first of all, this function. So what about derivative of this? base and to the power x. So d over dx of a to the power x equal to a to the power x times natural log a. So this is the formula. How can we find these derivatives? And let's find derivative from this left hand side. What we will have? Like one half, so the same one half to the power x times natural log, natural log one half, and the same as right here, so plus two third to the power x times natural log 2 third and plus the last one plus 5 over 6 to the power x times natural log 5 over 6. So we just find derivative of this left hand side function. Yeah, we find this derivative. And let's find the sign of this element. So let's find the sign of this derivative. So first of all, I want to mention that right here we have maybe this is exponential function, this is exponential function, and this is, but right here we have a constant. So right here, this is a constant, this is a constant, this is a constant. And what about the sign of this constant? Because this is logarithm, yeah? So this is natural log. And if you draw a graph, so right here, if you draw a graph, so natural log, uh, graph of natural log. How this graph looks like? This is graph looks like that. So right here we'll have like one. And our natural log, our base of this natural log will be less than zero because we'll have like natural log x is less than zero. We have one half, two third and five over six. Where is our x is less than zero? Of course, right here in between this zero and one. And between the zero and one, our our natural log will be negative. So for example, we need to find right here our sign of natural log. This is negative one right here. For example, it goes right here, right here, right here. So this is intersection, it will be negative. So our negative sign between zero and one, our natural log will be negative. So I write it right here. So between, so between 
between 0 and 1, our natural log x will be negative. So every of these elements of so this is negative, this is negative, and this is negative, yeah? And let's go, let's go next. Right here, with this natural log, we have this expression. So 2 thirds to the x, 5 six to the x, and 1 half to the power x. What about this, what about this sign? So this is exponential function. So for example, 1 half to the x. This is exponential function, and doesn't matter of this x, every time this is positive. So right here we have plus. Right here, 2 thirds to the x, this is always positive. And right here, this is positive. So what we have right now with the signs? So we have plus times minus, it will be minus. So second, plus, right here, plus times minus, it will be minus. And right here, plus times minus will be minus. So we add three negative, negative uh, signs, and as a result, we will have we will have minus. So our function have a negative sign. If you are talking about derivative, doesn't matter of x, our our derivative is negative. So from here, our function pi of x, so right here I write pi of x, is monotonic decreasing function. So monotonic decreasing function. Decreasing function. So this is our function on the left hand side. What about our function on the right hand side? On the right hand side we have 1. So if we're talking about 1, this is a constant. So our q of x is constant. So so constant. So once more, let's look once more at this. So I create two functions on the left hand side, on the right hand side. If you're talking about the sign right here, we have a derivative and we find the sign of this derivative. This natural log is always negative, 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 negative. This is always positive. And if you multiply it, if you add it, we will have that our function doesn't matter of x is always monotonic decreasing function. What do we have on the right? We have a constant. So this is a constant function. So but no positive, no negative, just a constant function. And let's draw a graph real quick and let's see how many points of intersection we will have right here. So for example, we have, like, doesn't matter how it looks like, for example, we don't know about this function, how this function exactly looks like, but for example, we have monotonic decreasing function, something like that, doesn't matter, monotonic decreasing, and step by step they get closer and closer to this x is x. So this is our pi of x. This is our pi of x, and we have 1. So it doesn't matter of the where is 1, for example, right here, right here, right here. So let's go, for example, like right here. So this is, for example, our 1 right here. Oh, let's go right here. Yeah? And if you look closer to this, there is one and only case when this equation has the roots is when they intersect only in one point. Doesn't matter whether it will be this line under this, on the top of this, we will have only one point of intersection only one point of intersection right here. And let's find this point of intersection because we know that this is only one point and by inspection we can easily find it. So let's suppose that x is, for example, equal to zero. We will have like, I write this function once more, so three to the x plus four to the x plus five to the x equal to six to the x. Okay, we have zero, so one plus one plus one equal to 1. This is absolutely incorrect. So 0, this is not our case. Let's go next. For example, we have x equal to 1. If x equal to 1, 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus uh, equal to 6, yeah? And this is absolutely incorrect. So there is no like root if x equal to 1. Let's go next. x equal to 2. We will have like squares, like squares. So right here x2, x1, and right here x0. Okay, let's go x equal to 2. So 9 plus 16 plus 25 equal to 36. And it looks like incorrect because 16 plus 25 is like 41, which is not equal to 36. And if we add one, if we add nine, we will have like 50, I guess, yeah? So there is no correct. Okay, x equal to three. How can we solve it? Cubes right here. So three cube plus four cube plus five cube equal to six cube, yeah? So we have this situation. We have cubes, every time cubes. And as a result, right here, 27, plus 4 cube 64 and plus 125 equal to 216. And let's look to this expression right here. Let's try to find if it's correct or not correct. 27, 64, 125, it's looked like 216. So that means, that means that x equal to 3 only solution. 
only solution to this interesting problem. Tricky method, of course, there are a lot of approaches, but I want to show you this approach and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please leave a like, write any comment, I really appreciate it and thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.